everyone! Welcome back to my Get Into Cosplay series, Pride Month Edition. In honor of it being Pride Month, this time we're going to be doing Eret. As usual, I start out by fixing up my lights and moving my space around. Then I go and grab the outfit, most of which I actually pull from my Techno Cosplay. Then I get into my regular base fit. There we go. And it's time to put on the corset. This is the same one that I use for my Techno Cosplay, so I've gotten pretty used to putting it on by now. Then it's time to put in the contacts, which, as usual, I got from Mocha Queen. But these contacts in particular are actually a little bit more complicated, so let's put them in. For Eret, in order to get that blind eye look, I use these UV blind white lenses. Unlike most of my other contacts, these ones actually do impair my vision, in exchange for fully whitening out my pupil, which I really wanted here. So while I'm doing the start of my makeup, I'm only going to have one in so that I can still see what I'm doing. So now that that's in, let's actually start the makeup. I start with foundation, as usual, and get some full cover over my face. Then I add my usual contour on my neck, nose, and cheeks. I also darken my eyebrows to make me look a little bit more masculine. And I actually decided to put my other white contact in here before I went too crazy on my eye makeup. So for the rest of this video, I'm actually going to be a little bit blind. Once both the contacts are in, I start the rainbow eyeshadow gradient. To do this, I actually kind of need to be able to see a little bit, and it turns out that these blind contacts aren't actually completely blinding my eyes. These specific ones are mesh contacts, meaning that there's still a little bit of vision and holes in the pattern, like this. I can make out shapes and colors, kind of like the room is filled with a really thick fog. And because of that, with a lot of precision, I can get some pretty solid makeup. I think the rainbow eyeshadow actually came out pretty good. Once it was completed, I decided I actually wanted to do eyeliner, which is a very hot take, considering that I'm half blind while doing it. But somehow, after taking a good long while, I managed to get smooth and symmetrical eyeliner on both sides. And I think it came out pretty good. All right, now it's time for accessories. I added some bracers, actually the same bracers I used for my techno because I just think they look good with this particular shirt. Then I mess with my hair a little bit to get it ready for the crown. This is the crown I use for Eret, which is actually also one of my old techno crowns. It's got little rainbow crystals on it and the little dangly bit in the front. I also have a brand new cape for this cosplay made of this sheer red fabric with little gold beads on it. So I drape that over my shoulders how I want it to and attach the two clips with the gold chain. This cape actually reaches all the way down to the floor, which is just mwah. Then I decided to add a bunch of pride pins that I had in my collection. And after reorganizing them and moving them around for a good while, I got all four of the ones where I wanted them. Then I clipped on the final pin at the top of the shirt and ta-da! I put on some fancy dangly earrings, one being this red gem one and the other being this like gold hoop thing. Then I added the rings and now it was time for the final piece, the glasses. And with that, that's the whole cosplay except for one tiny detail. I mentioned earlier that I was using UV scleras, and I want to take a second to show those off in this cosplay specifically. These in UV light just look absolutely stunning, and is one of the reasons that I really like this cosplay. If you're interested in getting UV contacts like this for yourself, you can use code SHERBERQUICK at mochaqueen.com for 20% off your order. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, happy Pride Month, everyone! And here's me getting out of cosplay. If you want to see more of this, I have a whole series of these videos on my channel as well as a brand new Generation Lost CMV I just posted last week. So maybe drop a like or a subscribe if you feel so inclined, because I would really appreciate it. But I'll see you guys next time.